you like that build and grow effect like you've seen in Ben TK's videos? Well, let's do it in Resolve. Okay, so the first thing you need to know for the building object grow effect is you want to make sure that the background, in this case the sky, is uniform or you know just like a single color, single tone, and so forth. In this case, you see there's some blue, there's some uh, clouds, and there's uh, different um, uh, levels to that. So what I'm going to do real quickly is um, show you how to handle that. Now, in most cases, you just need to do a sky replacement. So ideally, you look for a image that has a blown out sky. That way, you don't have to deal with that. But I will leave a link up above to the tutorial for a sky replacement if you choose to go down that path. Another option is to just do a quick um, edit where you can blow out the sky. And I'm going to make some modifications for the purposes of this tutorial just to make it easier to demonstrate the effect. All right, that looks good. Now, one of the things I did do beforehand is I did come in here and uh, stabilize it. it. It didn't really have much motion to begin with, but I went ahead and did camera lock. That way I don't have to get into any tracking. Again, that's a whole other process if you have to uh, track in addition to the tutorial. Okay, so the next thing we want to do is go into color. And I've already pre-created this uh, blown out sky, so I'm just going to enable it real quick here, just to, and I'm just going to talk through it versus uh, going through it in the demonstration. So all I did here was use the free form uh, mask tool to outline the sky. Um, and then I simply uh, cranked up the gain, and then I adjusted the gamma just to kind of get this tower back in. Ideally, if I wasn't in a rush, I'd go around the tower, but for the purposes of this tutorial, uh, it's good enough. And so uh, that's how you would uh, uh, blow out a sky if you needed to do that, okay? Um, all right, so let's go into the main part of the tutorial. So we're going to now uh, come in here and set up a mask around our tower. So I'm going to zoom in here. And what I want to do is I'm actually going to leave this little uh, base part um, in the image. because I think it just has a different uh, look to it. Now, that's just, that's just how I'm going to do it here. All right, so now that we have that, we want to add an alpha output. Right click there, we're going to drag it in. Okay, and so we have just the tower shown. Now, if I go back to the edit, we can see that that's what we have. So we're going to make a copy of this clip. And what I want to do is actually go back into color for this one, and we're going to invert the mask. I'm going to go back to edit. We're going to put that on top. I'm going to actually put it up here at number five, only because we're going to do some others later uh, to enhance it. So now what we need to do here is we want to, we can either come in here and transform. So I'm going to go, I put markers in here for where I want to start and end the, uh, the effects. So you just right click um, here and just say uh, add marker, and that's all I did. So I'm going to select the bottom clip. And I could either come here into the transform and then drag it down, but it's much more accurate if I just come in here. I'm going to do a keyframe first, and rather than uh, click transform and drag it down, I'm just going to adjust the Y position. I'm going to go down about minus 5 something, okay? So if I zoom out, and actually if I move this out the way, you can kind of see it. it's much lower, okay? All right. All right, so we have this below the main image, and then we have this, obviously, we've got this, this big hole here, black hole. All right, so in order for us to correct for that, we're going to want to go into the generator, and we're just going to take a solid color. I'm just going to drag this down. I'm going to actually put this at the bottom, so there's a, a reason to my spacing here for the different clips. And I'm going to select the, actually, I'm going to move this over here. That way I can see it. So now, uh, let me turn off the transform. So now I want to select the color by picking the screen. So before I do that, I need to highlight this. Now when I do it, color, pick screen, 
I can just pick anywhere in here. All right, that's good. All right, so now when I put it there, voila, it matches the screen. Before I play through this, because it's actually not going to do anything, um, I forgot to complete my keyframe. So at this point, I did minus five, five, three. And at this point, we basically want to go back to where it was, which was 77. OK, so now when I play through that, we can see the building grow effect. Now you notice there was some portions here where it was covered and you just need to adjust the, the mass tool to, to correct for that. Okay, no big deal. Okay, so that's the basic effect. Now what if you want to do the building grow in phases? For instance, I want to have this first section, then another section, and then a you know a third section or something. So that's why I have these um, have it spaced here because we're gonna add the other sections in here. Uh, so that we can break this apart. So I'm going to make a copy, right click, copy this the first clip. We're going to paste it. And now what I want to do is actually go back into color and we're going to adjust the mask. So for this one, I'm going to have this portion up to up to this part of the tower. So I'm just going to shrink this just a just a bit. Just going to rough it here because I don't really want to get rid of that. Right, like that. Okay. All right. So we're going to leave that like that and we're going to put it right here. We're going to come back to that later. I'm going to make another copy of the original clip. And for this one, we're going to. We're going to do just the base. So let me move it here. And so I'm going to do the base up to about here. So. OK, so we're going to put this one in here. Now, if you look at it, it's probably not going to work the way you want it to work, right? You only see the original clip, all right? So what we have to do here is we need to adjust the position of all of these. Okay, so I'm going to click this button here, which allows me to see the position of the transform for the Y position effect. All right, so now what I want to do is I need to stagger all of these. So I'm just going to create a couple of markers here just for my purposes so that I know where I'm going to stagger each one. So I start at the top one. The top one we want at the first marker, so I've got that. The next one, we want it to end at the next marker. And then the one below it, we want it to start right before that marker. So let's say there. So I'm going to move it about here. And then we want this one to end. So I should have probably actually put a marker here. And then let's say we want it to end right about here. Okay, and so for this last one, we're going to probably just go here. We'll have it start about there, and we'll end it where it currently is. So now let's play through that all. There we go. So you can obviously, um, if you toggle this, you can kind of see that it's these uh, positions actually has a label there, so you know it's a position. But let's say that you wanted to change the acceleration. You could obviously come in here and click here, and then you can adjust you know, the slope and so forth and how fast it ramps up. Uh, that's something you can consider uh, if you want to get into that. But that's all there is to this effect. If you got any questions, uh, please leave those in the comments below. Otherwise, please like and subscribe. And I'll see you in the next tutorial. Peace.